Hello friends, welcome to this course on NX. In this lecture, we are going to create this sketch. So all the dimensions in this sketch are given. Now what I want you to do is try to make this sketch by yourself. I will also attach the drawing and PDF of this sketch. And after that you can continue watching this lecture. First of all, we need to understand the basic layout of this sketch. We can see, here we can see we have a bigger rectangle. Inside this rectangle we have these two slots. This is first slot and this is second slot. This is slot number 2. On the center we have a hole. Also on the edges a fillet has been created. Now to create this sketch in NX. First of all we need to create this outer bar. So we have this rectangle. We need to create this. The dimension of this rectangle is 200. And this is also 200. So go to NX and click the sketch here. We need to select a plane. So let's say I select this XY plane. Click OK. After that go to this rectangle. So it is better to take the center rectangle. Because the center will come at the origin. So select the center rectangle. And draw a rectangle like this. Press escape. Give it the dimension. So double click on this dimension. This is 200. Press enter. Also double click on this. This is also 200. So insert value 200 and press enter. Close. Now we can see outer part of the sketch is completed. Now once again let's go to the sketch. After that we can make this slot. Now for this slot we can see this complete length of this slot is 140 and then we need this height. So this height we can calculate from this radius value. From this radius we can see the radius is 10. So the complete distance between hair to hair will be double of 10 that is 20. 10 on this half and 10 on this half. So this is going to be 20. So now we can make this rectangle and we can see the distance from this vertical line to the center is 30. Similarly from this bottom line this is also 30. So in this way we can locate this. So go to annex, go to rectangle and let's say this time I will select two point rectangle. I zoom in here and draw a rectangle like this. Press escape. I pick this dimension, hold down the left click and drag it outward. Now zoom in. We know that this length is 140. So double click on this length. This is 140. And this value is 20. So double click here. And this is 20. Close. Now we can also make the circular part inside this. To create the circular part, go to circle. Now make sure here this midpoint option is checked. Here make midpoint. Uh, zoom in here. Take the mouse. And when I take the mouse to the midpoint, it will highlight here in the bottom. Now it is showing midpoint. So click on this midpoint. This is midpoint. And then drag the mouse. We need to Select the end point up to this point. Click here. This is end point. Similarly, we need to create this type of circle here. So select this middle point, midpoint, and up to this end point. Press escape. Now we can trim the extra lines that we don't need. So go to this trim option. Select this half part, this line. Similarly this half part and this line. We don't need them. Click close. Now we need to position this slot. To position this we can go to once again drawing. And here we can see from this center point the distance is 30. And also here it is 30. So go to NX. Go to rapid dimension. From this vertical line select this vertical line. And then zoom in and we need to select this center point. 
click on the center point now place it so this value is 30 similarly from this horizontal line up to the center this value is also 30 so place it this is 30 click close now we can see we have created this slot part we can also hide this auto dimensions i go to more make a just click on this display sketch auto dimension now all these auto dimension will be hidden but in the sketching sometimes we need those auto dimensions so we can also make a select on this once again display sketch auto dimensions after that we need to create this circle this circle is of radius 20 and it is at the center so this is the diameter 20 so go to annex from here now we can see this is the center now sometimes it may possible that it is not easy to locate the center so right now the center is at origin because we have created the center rectangle but let's say we don't know the center and we have to find out the center to do this what I can do is I go to line and make sure this midpoint option is selected draw a line from this midpoint so from this midpoint midpoint and up to this midpoint mid select midpoint once again I need this horizontal line also so select this midpoint midpoint up to this midpoint press escape now intersection of these two lines will be center but right now we can see these two lines are feature lines so what I can do is select this line make a right click and go to convert to reference select this line right click and convert to reference so now these are reference line so these are no longer remains the feature line and intersection of these two lines is our center so we can draw the circle here go to circle and draw the circle insert the value of diameter 20 and then press escape so after that we need to create curved slot now to create this curved slot first of all we need to find out its dimensions so here I can see the radius of the center radius so here we can see we have three circle this circle number one this is circle number two between and this is circle number three the radius of this middle circle is 70 and we can see this curvature radius is 10 it means if we want to find out the radius of this outer curve it will be 70 this 70 plus 10 similarly if we want to find out the radius of this inside circle this will be 70 minus 10 it will be reduced from this dimension okay now the complete angle we can see it is given 110 okay so now let's go to annex and draw this and center of all these circle is at the center now I go to circle option and then draw a circle from this origin point draw the circle so the diameter of the circle okay let's just draw them one by one we can insert the values later like this now go to rapid dimension and select radial here in the method I will select radial so the radius of the outer circle we know this is 80 zoom in and the radius of this circle we know is 70 and the radius of this innermost circle is 60 press escape now we need to find out the 110 degree angle now to do this what I can do is I draw a line from this point this origin point to up to some point like this similarly I draw one more line like this press escape and then I go to the rapid dimension here the method I select inferred select this line 
and then select this vertical reference line and now the angle between them is half of 110 it means it will be 55 similarly the angle between this line and this line again this will be 55 so now we can see the complete angle is 110 press escape and click close now we can trim these extra lines so before that i can select this line right click convert to reference again this line right click convert to reference also for this inner circle okay first let's trim it go to this trim option and select this and select this outer part that we don't need hold down the left click and drag the mouse like this so i go to circle and then i select circle by center and then zoom in now we know that this point will be center of circle so zoom in take the mouse take the mouse onto this arc now we can see this arc is highlighting and then click on this point select and then zoom out we have to select this end point so take the mouse onto this end point so when i take the mouse onto this curve it will highlight this curve so take the mouse here and click click for point on curve and i can select end point now we can see we have created this circle similarly we need to do this on the other side select this end point like this similarly we need to select this end point and select this end point select the start point and now we can see the sketch is done so press escape and now we can trim the extra part so zoom in go to quick trim quick trim and trim this again just select it just select this curl and trim this so in this way the trim is done now zoom out so in the end we need to insert the fillet into this we know the fillet radius is 10 so here what i do is i go to this more option and select display sketch auto dimension i turn it off also we can turn off the inferred auto constraint and then zoom in go to fillet option from here select this line and this line fillet radius is 10 so insert value 10 press enter do this on the other sides select lines one by one and the radius okay let's do it once again this line and this line insert the radius 10 and here so this line this line radius value is 10 and for the last stage select this this and this value is 10 now zoom out and now we can see we have completed this sketch so click on finish sketch and here we can see the sketch is completed 